Welcome to this video where we are going to cover deep linking from one app to another using the no code tool bubble. So in this video, we obviously have some gear here that is, uh, these are Amazon affiliate links, and we want to see how we might set these up so within our bubble area so that within this app, they will open up into another app. So here I'm in uh, this particular um, app for finding uh, old cool places to take photographs. And here is some gear related to it. Now, um, there is other types of deep, deep linking, which we will not be covering. And again, it's like if someone's browsing and reading an article and they click on it and then, you know, they're going to go to a page in the app, but they don't have the app. So they need to install the app. That is a different type of thing here. Let's look at what we have set up. So someone browsing here would click this footwear. And then here on the bottom, you can see this URL. We open Safari, but it's like, hey, this redirector is like, Go ahead and open this into Amazon. And the magic here is that we landed on this particular page and we uh, also had the affiliate links set up so that if a person browses this and is like, this shoe is amazing. I couldn't even believe how I've lived so long without this shoe. Uh, and then they buy it, your affiliate account gets credit for that. So that's what we're gonna look at. Let's turn our attention off of this app it, interface here in the phone and we'll jump over to a screen view. So here over in our bubble backend, we can see the setup of the app that we just saw live in the introduction of this video and this, the layout and everything, you know, I'm assuming that most folks who are watching this video have some idea of putting together a page in bubble and we just got some groups with some things in it, but this, uh, this element that is sitting on top of these that gets clicked is a visual element. It is just a link. And so with this link, uh, that's what will be clicked. And then a short word about uh, the experiences that we're creating and what it is that we're actually trying to do with this, this video is that we're trying to allow someone who is in one mobile experience to streamline go into another one and um, through the process of deep linking. Now we need two tools to do that here. One of those tools is this plugin called Native Apps BDK and you'll have to pay $16 for it to install it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you a, a special type of workflow. So when I click on the workflow of this particular um, link, I'll show, you know, setting it up over here in plugins, you're gonna to wanna to go to BN, which is that BDK native, and you're gonna to wanna to select open link. And you can see here for how this is set up that we want the option of opening up in another app. And this is that magic thing that allows us to leave our app because if you have an app in Bubble, uh, at a mobile app that is, they are set up through what is called a, uh, a web view. And a web view just points to the URL of where your Bubble app sits uh, within Bubble. And it, in order for you to navigate out of that web view, if you just change the URL, you actually stay in your own app. But here we want, from a platform and technology standpoint, we want to leave our app and go into another one, like we saw, that option to open up Amazon. So that is this open up another app thing. So to get this workflow, that is why this BDK, BDK plugin for $16 is needed. So when you have that set up uh, and you open, click to open another app, the next step is having something like a URL uh, forwarder, uh, I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but it allows you to create deep links to particular pages within another app. So within Facebook, within YouTube, within uh, Spotify or, or, or Amazon in this case. And, uh, but let's use an example of how this one works. So URL Genius, I'm not affiliated with them. There's just some site out there that I found that does this. There is another one called Jot URL, although I noticed. So they say Grove Mobile Results with a robust deep linking platform. And they have they have these plans. Their cheapest one starts at $9 or nine euros rather per month. And you get up to 5,000 events. So you'd have to choose uh, which one of these is right for you. The pricing on this one is two cents a click. Your first 500 are free. So an easy way to get started anyways with what 
your project you know as it evolves perhaps there's upgrades to be done but so for the purpose of this video we're just going to use um, URL genius now uh, after entering this in so this is a this is my page within the Instagram app and note here that it automatically generated this uh, URI which is what apps use so when the app is installed it'll send the user to this URI which op which is that dialogue or that uh, interstitial it's like would you like to open up the app then do that and if there's no app installed uh, just that page so cool so we'll make it unique so we'll hit compose and oh yeah so then it wants us to log in and you'll have to create an account then to get access to this link but if if I were to compose this and put it into I guess I can do that so now I'll copy this link I'll actually put it into this foot, you know, footwear thing and then I'll show off in the next uh, segment of this video back in an app view where I'll click this link and you know we'll see this open up with that URL updated let's take a look at how it functions clicking our footwear link we can see that it now opens up Instagram and our very young page here if you would follow us no code Academy so there you have it. In summary, that's how it's done. If you are looking to get the setup of going from one app to a, spe a specific destination in another app, such as a particular product page in Amazon, a particular user profile in Instagram, a particular listing in Airbnb or some other app, um, or a product in Uber Eats, perhaps. Uh, so that's that's how it's done. And again, it's done through the magic of this plugin, this uh, native apps from BDK, and the uh, URL genius, which handles this routing which is this conditional stuff you know so what you're really paying for there is that when you know the app is installed it takes it to these uh special they're not urls like in uh like on the web they're uris which are these special things within apps themselves so it kind of translates it from the web world to the app world and one thing to mention i want i did uh have a i misspoke earlier in this video is that i said i used a link here for these because uh, if you ha actually have a link you'll notice that there is no thing to start uh, an actual workflow you have the option for an internal page or external URL the problem with those is if you're running a mobile app you actually won't get outside of the web view with that uh, with this link it'll open up in your app with that URL and we want to leave our app and go to a different one so that is um, what we actually have here is a, an image with that it has a one by one PNG, a transparent PNG that has nothing in it to, to just as a kind of a placeholder to get this element onto the page. So I just want to point that out so that when you start and edit this workflow and do this uh, action from that plugin, you will be able to uh, achieve this same setup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please like or subscribe. And thank you for watching.